Hi, hello, and a really warm welcome to today's Facebook Live. So right now we are on day three of my 30-day Let's Go Live on Facebook every day for 30 days challenge. Um, and I'm super excited about it. I hope you are too. Um, on day one, we looked at actually how to build a business around your art rather than changing your art practice to become more commercial. Then yesterday we looked at mindset and the 80-20 principle and today, today I'm sharing you with my top three P's um, that I think you need to be successful as an artist. So I'm really, really excited to share that with you. And overall, I um, decided to call the entire series How to Make a Good Living from Your Art. So, welcome, welcome. If you're coming on live, don't forget to give me a shout out in the comments. If you're watching the replay, please make sure to, again, hashtag replay in the comments so that I know you were there, I know you were listening. Um, don't forget to ask any questions that you like and interact as well. So without further ado, and a reminder, <laughs> without further ado, let's get into the concept. But a reminder, these are short videos. So really, my aim is to talk between five and 10 minutes tops. So let's get stuck into today's content. The three Ps. Hmm, what might those be? I, I hear you ask. Okay, now these are my three Ps that I think are really, really important for you to become successful as an artist. The first one is patience. Now, I've actually had a little story around patience today. Uh, we've got our first lives coming on. Hello to Hayley. I've got terrible sight at the moment, so I really apologize. Yesterday, I couldn't read anybody, but it's Hayley. Hello, Hayley. Welcome to the live video. So yeah, my first P is patience. And here's the story that happened to me today, just to play out this actually actual example. I spent quite a while uploading a really long online training that I'd made, and it took quite a long time to go on the page, and I made all the eight alterations. You know where this is going, right? Um, hello, hello, she sends a heart, a heart to you too. So I've got the whole page looking great, and then somehow I hit a button, um, and the entire content disappeared. And it was about an hour and a half's worth of fiddling and uploading. And, and so patience for me is the number one thing that you need to become successful as an artist. Because this is just one thing that's going to happen to you over a lifetime of building a business, whether that's in your studio or whether that's the business part of it. It's a mindset game. Like we talked about mindset yesterday, and patience for me is completely a mindset game. Let me know if you agree. Give me a thumbs up or a heart. Do you agree that, that patience is a mindset game? You're going to be learning new things. Guess eight, whether it's technical, not that I was learning new things, I was just uploading and somehow I hit the wrong button and I haven't saved everything, my own fault. So patience then is required as we just simply start again and, um, and, uh, and continue to upload. Yes, thank you for the heart. Um, we know that old principle, it's all gonna take longer than you think, especially at the beginning, right? So you're all learning new things. So you think, I know, I'm gonna build a website. It's gonna take me three days. And three weeks later, you still only got a small part of it done. So learning to be patient and patient with yourself. It's not just patient with the technical stuff, is it? But actually it's about being patient and forgiving yourself and knowing that it's all gonna take longer than you think it's gonna take. And that's okay. You're gonna stumble, you're gonna fall, you're gonna do all of those things. You're gonna to need to go back to the beginning and start again. Just, if you can adopt that attitude of patience, life is gonna be much more pleasurable. So that's my first P. My second P is persistence. And persistence really is, I suppose, the older brother or sister of patience, isn't it really? Because persistence is when you have broken that thing that I broke earlier and you just get back up and you do it again. Persistence is where something hasn't worked out too well the first time and you just carry on and you carry on and you carry on. So you decide to have an exhibition, maybe your very first one, it doesn't go too well, and you've got two options at the end of it. 
Option A is you say, that didn't work too well, I'm not doing that again. Or option B, you say, hmm, okay, I think there's some things I can learn from this. I'm just going to do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. So that, for me, is where persistence is going to play out over and over and over again. It's about you staying focused. It's about you staying on track to where you want to go. It's a case of when you fall over, how are you going to pick yourself up again? And persistence is that thing that we know the results are going to come in the end. Hello, shout out to Sharon and Erica. Hello, ladies. Thank you for joining me. So we've talked about the first P um, is patience. And I reckon the older brother or sister, as I say, is persistence. Persistence is what you're going to need to just keep you going day in, day out. No matter. Yes, thank you for the hearts. But type in the comments. What do you what do you think? Are you good with patience? Are you good with persistence? Which one, which one of these first two P's are you good with? Or are you not so good with either of them? Are you patient with yourself? Are you prepared to see things through? Are you persistent? No matter what happens, no matter what you break, are you just gonna keep going, keep going, keep going? So which one are you good at? And I'm sure that you want to know what the third P is. See, for me, you reach a point where we get this principle of the tipping point. Has anybody, has anybody, have any guys read the book, The Tipping Point? This is such a magical principle where you reach that point where everything is in balance, everything is in balance, and it's going to tip one of two ways. And I really believe that if you're patient and you keep going and you are persistent, it's eventually going to tip in your favor and it's going to provide you with the third P. And the third P, folks, is profit. <laughs> That's my favorite, favorite P without a doubt. Um, profit is what you're going to see at the end of your hard work. Okay, you've just got to know that you have a goal, you have a plan of how you're going to get there. And by staying patient with yourself and perhaps repeating like I've had to today, by staying persistent by not allowing the things that haven't gone wrong to bother you, just keep going, keep going, keep going, then you are going to hit the tipping point and the tipping point is going to then lead you in to profit. <laughs> we have lots of hearts coming up the screen. Who here likes profit? Thumbs up, write in the comments. I know you're all multitasking. I mean, I did say these were short tea break videos. I'm working hard. I'm, I know you are, Eric. I can see all your stuff on social media. She's multitasking, working hard. That's persistent. If I know anyone who's persistent, you're persistent. And profit will come. So profit just means that actually you have stayed focused on goal. You have got yourself a business plan. You have done some marketing and sales. And you've put one step in front of the other. And now what's happening is you're looking and you're thinking, oh, OK. Now I'm getting more coming in than is going out. And this is happening on a consistent basis. Hallelujah. This is a marathon, not a sprint, Haley says. Absolutely. All business life is a marathon, not a sprint. I think, you know, there's people out there that will always profit, always promise you a quick fix, a quick win. My, my, um, my experience tells me there's no such thing as quick win, not if you want the right thing to happen. So we are absolutely in a marathon. We need to train for a marathon. We need to be patient with ourselves. We need to be persistent, keep moving forward, keep moving forward. Hard work is always rewarded. Absolutely. And I, you know, I, for me, Hayley, I like to think consistent work is always rewarded. I, I, I understand and I absolutely agree with you, hard work. I just prefer the word consistent. Um, hard work for me is when I've got to go out and dig the garden and I come back and totally exhausted. I want to enjoy my work. It's easy work, simple work, but it's the consistency of it. It's the doing every day that brings the results and brings the profit um, in your art business. So that's what I wanted to say today. This is today's principle, day three of 30 days. As I say, I've got about 40 videos planned out now, so I'm very, very excited. So tomorrow, tune back in, same time, same place. Today I've got water. I'm not quite sure what happened to my tea. I think I drunk it about 9 o'clock this morning. It's been quite a long day. Tomorrow we are going to talk about it all starts with knowing what you really, really, really want. And why is it when I meet so many artists who don't know what they want? Because when I ask and I say, what is it you really want? I get a lot of 
hmm, I'm not quite sure, or I think maybe it's this or maybe that. And I've got lots of ideas because we're creators, right? Lots of ideas here, lots of ideas there. But the idea is that you zone that in, you focus in, and tomorrow we're going to discuss just that. So thank you very much, folks, for watching. Same time, same place. Don't forget, on the videos hang on the left-hand side of my page. If you missed day one, day two, you can go back onto my page, go down to videos, not live videos, and I've created a little playlist, just like Netflix. So you can grab another cup of tea if you missed those and watch the other two. Thank you very much, I love it. Consistency is key, absolutely. Enjoy the water, thank you very much. Drinking lots of water myself, Sharon. Yeah, do you know what? It's all about the water. It's hot, it's muggy here in WA, lots of water. All right, thank you so much for watching live. Thank you so much for watching the replay. Don't forget to add to the comments. Let me know which one you're good with, what you want me to talk about, and I'll see you same time, same place tomorrow for knowing what you really, really want. Bye, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.